thank you. Uh, do you hear me? Okay. <laughs> Good morning. I'm a little sleepy, <laughs> actually. Um, well, I'm going to talk about creativity. My topic, the creativity. Just the theme of our forum today. But let me put this topic in my own feeling of the fear of illiterate person who do not know to communicate with you like you. Yes, I'm really worrying. So that's why I'm reading rather than speaking. It is much easier for me to speak in English, you know. The skill of English is creative self for myself. And I wish I could be creative to be able to express my story about creativity and its relation to education. You know, but English is just a monster for me. <laughs> Imagine how much we are scaring when we do not know how to express my ideas to others. So the creativity in these um, years uh, become the same as edu education. I'm an educational researcher for my life. Well, in the beginning, and before I know, and before, before I am encountered with Adobe, I rather disregard creativity as something which our educators cannot control and teach. It is a sort of God gift and inherited talents not to be cultivated. But today, I propose to say that creativity can be educated and even telling the truth. It has been educated throughout the whole history. So I'm going to talk about history of creativity and the way to go now for teaching creativity by Adobe Word teaching tool. Well, this is the creation of the universe, OK? Only God create. But sometimes we create two human beings. Human beings' creation is called that the nature is an art. In the middle, there is knowledge or science, which is still very far from the universe, from the God creation. How beautiful, how complete. But this is all complete and wonderful and beautiful. Can you do this one? Well, everyone used to be this kind of artist, but uh, well, they are some kind of people who are not same with us. And this is science. The science, which has belonged to the God, eternal knowledge. Well, can we create like God? No, 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 Babel Tower, no, no. But we are approaching, and how? The by education. Why? Because we want our kids to survive. How? First, we learn and teach. The teach to make them be creative. And how we learn for experience, just like a young kid. And I sometimes being taught by others. And we teach, we just show and tell, and we use to buy tools. What tools we used to teach? Language, then sculpture. Now we have letters, numbers, and all media. However, as you know, education is never difficult. Nobody is successful in education. Is you, anybody who, do you think you are successful in education? Not only for you, but also for your kid. Because the tools itself are very difficult. The history of tools and history of education, history of humani humankind, they are all historians of creativity, which is creating. Remember, 
first and again, how we educate and how we survive and how we lost and died. This is for survival. We call them change. We call them evolution. So I think today, this creativity is some kind of combined work of collaboration, communication, or connecting, or empathy, and tools. Before collaboration, we kill others to survive. like this. And we teach and learn how to kill others. So in the history of education, the first subject, you know, was the physical education to train a strong warrior. And this is the history of Olympic Games. Still we are doing every four years. But nothing after the war. So the first creation was the collaboration to live together. But a thousand and thousand years have passed until we found that we need collaboration to live together. In the 1948, when the UNESCO was created, established, the by the constitution saying that since world begins in the minds of men, it's the minds of men that distance of Defense of peace must be constructed. That is the beginning of the public education. Before that, there was no public education. So this is what I like very much. The Martin Nowak's uh, uh, presentation saying that the smartest people are those who help somebody in need. This is from his experience who helped his uncle who are in Lugaric. He want to communicate. And he made an icon. As you know, but the collaboration was not easy. With your family, OK. But with your friend, well, even with an enemy, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. So we need a second creation. That is the empathy as a tool to collaborate. This is my country. Korean War in the 1952, 53, all of the and I, I took this word from the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C., saying that our nation, any nation, our nation honors her sons and daughters who answered the call to defend a country they never knew and a people they have never met. How come this is possible? So the empathy defined with the same person to feel common pleasure and pains as the other, just like in between moms and kids. This is very famous Korean TV drama, uh, which uh, taught the Korean people about empathy. Listen. Do you hear Korean? You must learn Korean to feel these things. Okay? Are you sick? Only between lovers. You know, the Renaissance begins by the Medici families of empathy. But everyone was talking about torture. And we blame that they were so bad and immoral. No, they just didn't simply know, don't know. Others are feeling the pain. So the empathy was not easy. We did not know the proper way to the empathy. Then we create the third, the connecting and communicating together. Yep. So the most important thing is how to be connected and how to communicate with others to feel the same feeling. This is my favorite scene whenever I talk about education. This is scary. 
in the mountain, in the jungle. And he thought, what is he? He's saying? He's singing? What is he saying? Beautiful scenery, but it's scary. Again, there are other kinds of creatures who are scaring together. And they are approaching with each other with worries and concerns. What kind of this creature? Are they enemies? Are they friends? Some tension. Oh, what is it? Just like you, when you encounter the person who you don't know. Again, music is coming again. It's now something, something peaceful is arising in this scene. And then they got the peace. Well, everybody talks about knowledge and truth and to live it well. But the Chinese philosopher says in old times, you do, can you see this one? What is it saying? If you tell that it's right, it's not right anymore. It cannot be talk. Talk now. A reporter Ask the great dancer, sir, what did you try to say with the dance? And he, he replied, hey, why do you think I dance if I could say it? He cannot say his story. Buddha just smiled. Okay? He doesn't need to say it. There's a big gap between teaching and learning, literacy and media, letters and voices, numbers and feelings, and we call them education. So history of tools, we know cave printings, Sumerian cuneiform, Pythagoras and number, and our Korean hangul. Then now we have computer, all these things. What kind of tools do we need? We are talking about technology. We are talking about connect together by technology. And you one call them education. It is not only numbers and books and numbers and formula. Through the history, teachers learn tools first, then teaches them. But education is complete when they learn together. The problem was tools must be easy to learn, and again, it must be cheap to have. Photoshop is very expensive for me. It's not a story of us. We know the first tool was the letters and numbers, seven liberal, still we are doing in the schools, language and math. 